Lesson 17 starts on page 82 and it's about linear measure or measuring length. The first thing I want you to do before we do anything else on this lesson is to memorize those two tables. The one at the bottom of page 82 and the one at the bottom of page 83. And those deal with some measurements of length in the U.S. system and in the metric system or the international system, also called the system international. Parents, if you're listening, make sure your child knows those two tables and has those memorized. Student, if your parents aren't listening, be responsible and make sure you memorize those because if you don't, it'll just make things harder for you later. And I know you want to get through your math as quickly and efficiently as you can and not have it be a big pain for you to do every single day. So memorize those now and make things easier later. What I want you to do on these practice problems is just fill in the blanks there and you'll have to convert from one type of unit to another. Hopefully you won't need those tables. That you've got them, hopefully you already have them memorized so that you won't need to use those. And on that last problem, I want you to tell me how long that line segment is and use the most reduced form. If you need to write a fraction, use the most reduced form of that fraction for your answer. So go ahead and work those problems and then we'll go over the answers. So that first problem, what you can do on that is you can think, well, seven meters, I know that a meter is 100 centimeters, so seven meters would be 700 centimeters. And then there's 10 millimeters in a centimeter, so that should be 7,000 millimeters. And then the next one, two miles equals how many yards? Well, you know that there's 1760 or 1760 yards in one mile. So in two miles, you just multiply 1760 by two, and that equals 3520 yards. And then the next problem, six centimeters equals how many millimeters? Well, you know that there are 10 millimeters in one centimeter, so 6 centimeters, there would be 6 times 10 or 60 millimeters in 6 centimeters. And then the last problem, how long is that line segment? Well, look at that ruler. I know that's not the best ruler example in the world, but it's good enough for you to understand how to do this problem and, how to, and to measure that line segment. And the best thing to do would be to draw a line segment down to the ruler at the beginning and at the end of it. And so you can kind of see where it stops. And it stops at one and then two segments after one. And so count those segments up. Those are an eighth apart, right? So that would be one and two eighths. Two eighths, that could be reduced to one fourth. So it's really one and one fourth. Now, this is where units are very important. Anytime you're doing a measurement of length or area or something like that, you don't just write one and one fourth as your answer. You write one and one fourth inches. That's the answer there. That segment is one and one fourth inches long. Make sure you have those two tables memorized. Okay, well that's all for lesson 17.